So we have taken type 1 projectile. Last class I'm talking about. We have taken type 1 projectile. Which was not a projectile fired from a projectile fired from point 1 and it ends its journey at point 2 where point 1 and 2 are at the same height. Right? This is a type of projectile. And for this type of projectile, we have derived time of life, range, maximum height. What else we have derived? Only these three things. Okay. Fine. So what are things are given to us? Well, velocity is given, initial velocity and angle theta is given to us. Okay? And acceleration due to gravity is acting throughout the flight down G like this. Okay? Now, I want you to derive the equation of the path. You understand what does that mean? What is the equation of straight line? Y is equal to mx plus c. So, an equation between x and y is the equation of a path. Alright? You will learn that equation of a circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Alright? Similarly, this is a curve whose equation I want you to derive. Alright? So, essentially I am trying to find out a relation between x coordinate and y coordinate. There should not be any time or any other variable in the equation. Understood? Now, if I want to derive a relation between x and y coordinate, I have to first define where the coordinate axis is. So, where the coordinate axis is? Obviously, I take this as my y coordinate and this as my x coordinate. Okay? Now, please derive a relation between x and y coordinate. Derive it. Even if you know what it is, please derive it. Even if you know what it is, derive it. The starting point is origin. So, x coordinate initially is 0 and y coordinate initially is 0. Right? So, finally, whatever is, this, let's say after time t, the particle reaches here and its coordinates are x, y. So, what is x? Can we say x is displacement in x direction? Right? And y is displacement in y direction. Right? So, that is the thing. Please solve it now. What will be x equals to? After time t, the value of x will be displacement in x direction. U cos theta into t. So this is x. Right? What I have done? I have used s equal to ut plus half a t square along x axis. So displacement along x axis is the x coordinate. Right? Along y coordinate, what will be the equation? Y is equal to u sin theta t minus half g t square. Okay? So now I have got a relation between x and time and y and time. I want a relation between x and y. What should I do? Eliminate t between these two equations. Right? So, you can see that from this equation, you get t is equal to x by u cos theta. Substitute that here quickly. So you will get y is equal to x. Is this what you are getting? Right? So this is the equation of this curve. Fine. This is the equation of the curve. A relation between y and x. You can see the, the degree of y is what? 1. And degree of x is 2. So this kind of equation represents parabola. You learn about parabola later on in maths, coordinate geometry. But it's good to know that this curve is parabola. Fine? So this is the equation of the path. Fine? Now, do, do you know how to deal with equation of a curve? 
Suppose I want to find the maximum value of that. What should I do? If I want to find what is the y maximum, what I do? dy by dx I do and equal to 0. Right? Are you getting it? The maximum value of a function happens when the derivative of that function is 0. You know this maximum minimum curves? The, I think Akhil has taught you that. Yes or no? Okay? So, and how do you find the range? Using the equation, how do you find the range? You don't need to do any of these things. How do you find the range? Put y is equal to 0. The, the x coordinate, whatever is the x coordinate when y is equal to 0 will represent the range. Yes or no? This is my x axis. So when I put y is equal to 0, I get this point and that point in the curve. Yes or no? Right? So you can see that when you put this equal to 0, you get x max, which is equal to your range. Right? You can see that yourself. Right? Any doubts? No doubts? So there could be a question like this, you know, y is equal to root 3 times x minus half g x square by let's say 2. If I say that this is the equation of the projectile and I ask you to find out what is the initial velocity and angular projection, can you find out? <coughs> Try finding it out. You equate the coefficient of x. So tan theta is root 3. So theta is 60 degrees. Alright? And then what? Use g divided by g divided by u square cos square theta should be equal to what? 1 by 2. Right? So like this, since you know theta, you can substitute this value and value of g, you will get the value of u. Alright? So there are such questions in which equation of path is given to you. Not the initial velocity and initial angle. Then you have to correlate with the equation of the projectile. What? No, half is there already. Oh, G is already there, sorry. G need not be there. So, 1 divided by that is equal to 1. Okay? Fine. Any doubts? Right? So, this is a type 1 projectile. Type 1 is in your NCRT curriculum. Only this type will be asked usually in your school. Alright? But that doesn't mean that only this type of projectile motion exists. There are million different types of projectile that can happen. Okay, different different kinds of projectile. If, if I throw a projectile from a height, if I throw a projectile from an inclined plane, if there are multiple projectiles, so I can create numerous varieties. Alright? And you know that we can't take all those million varieties of projectile and discuss each one of them. So, what we do is that we take typical types of projectile, we take 4 or 5 types of projectile and we analyze them. This is a type 1 projectile, we will analyze 4 more type of projectile. But that doesn't mean that only these types will be asked in the exam. Understood? So, do not remember the final result, always understand how it is derived. The method is same for everyone. Okay? So, let's take up the type 2 projectile now. Those who have attended the bridge program may know this already. How many were not there in the bridge program? Okay. Not many though. Yes. Alright, type 2 projectile is this. Please draw this. A projectile is thrown horizontally from a height h. Okay. So what kind of path it will follow? It will follow this kind of path and fall on the ground like this. Okay. Fine. Please write down this equation. S equal to up 
plus half a t square, I want you to write this along x-axis and along y-axis. Just write it. Don't solve anything. Along x and y-axis, write down this equation. Initial velocity along x-axis is what? <laughs> Depends where is your x and y-axis. So step number one, decide where is your x and y-axis. Where it is? The, usually people will take like this. This is your x and that is your y. Fine. So initial velocity along x direction is ux which is equal to what? u only and along y direction? 0. Why? Because y direction is perpendicular to the initial velocity. So there is no component of a vector perpendicular to itself. Fine. So initial velocity along y direction is 0. What about acceleration? Acceleration along x axis is what? And along y axis? Minus g. Now if I take point 1 and point 2, what is the displacement along x axis? Let's say this is r. r Displacement along x axis is r, alright? And displacement along y axis is what? Minus x. Minus x. It is down. You are taking all the vectors downward to be negative. So that is why displacement along y axis is negative. Now just substitute these values. Along x axis you write r is equal to u into t. Along y axis you will write minus h is equal to minus half g t square. Yes or no? Between point 1 and point 2 I am writing the equation. Alright? So, luckily this y axis equation will give me time of flight which is under root 2h by g. Now, this time of flight something strange about it. What is that? Does it depend on velocity? Time of flight, how much time it will take from 1 to 2 doesn't depend on initial velocity. If I throw it slowly, it will fall like this. Throw it with higher velocity, it will go like that. But all of them will hit the ground together. Even if you just drop a ball from here, it will hit the ground at the same time. It doesn't depend on what is the initial velocity. Remember, we are ignoring what? Air drag, air resistance. In reality, it, there might be small deviation because of air drag, but if air is not there, then all of them will hit the ground simultaneously. Until it has. Fine. So, this is my time of life. Okay? So, the range, I find out velocity into time of flight, which is u multiplied by under root 2h by g. Because t I have got from the y-axis equation. So, you can get the value of time from x-axis and put it in the y-axis equation or vice versa also, you can do. Understood? Okay? This is type 2 projectile which is also very common to see in the numerical. Don't mug up the final answer, okay? Uh, just remember how to solve it. Even if you don't remember, you can quickly derive it. Fine. Type 3. Suppose it is thrown with velocity u making an angle with theta, this is height h. What kind of path this will follow? This will go slightly up like this and hit here. Let's say this is point 1 and that is point 2. By the way, what was the value of maximum height in the previous question? H only because its vertical velocity is 0 right at the start itself. It will not start moving up on its own. But here it is not x. It goes slightly above. Okay? So you need to write down s equal to ut plus half a t square. Write down this equation along x-axis and then along y-axis. Do it quickly. Done? Yes, We have your UTs uh, starting. Monday is the 
physics, motion one day guy, duration dimension, all the rest. <laughs> so you, if you want to revise, what you can do? Watch the videos, right? And just a word of caution, it is, uh, please do not uh, burn classes for UTs, okay? Because this UT will happen every now and then, right? So you start bunking classes for UTs, throughout the year you will bunk half the classes. Right? And usually it is seen, you can ask your seniors, it is seen that people who are not bunking, they are getting better marks. You can check with your seniors. They have seen it in entire class 11. UTs, I am talking about UTs. School test. And they are doing well, they are doing well in center test also everywhere. So it's a myth that if you take time off, your marks will improve. Your preparation for test should happen simultaneously. The syllabus is so huge that you cannot take time off to prepare for an exam. You should be always ready to take an exam. Okay? It's not a class 9 or 10. Don't be in that mode. I'm cautioning you right now, so but the few people will not agree to it. They want to learn the hard way. So a wise person will learn from others' mistake, which I'm telling you what people think. All right. So tell me, initial velocity along x-axis is what? U cos theta along y-axis. U sin theta. I am taking this as my x and that is my y axis. Yes or no? And acceleration along x axis? Zero along y axis. Displacement along x axis? You can take r if this is r. Along y axis? Minus h. Yes or no? Any doubt in this? But can anyone answer that it is going up also? So how come displacement is x minus r? Displacement is a shortest distance. Okay? Displacement along any axis is change in that coordinate. Displacement along y axis is final y coordinate minus initial y coordinate. Simple. Keep it simple. Change in y coordinate is displacement along y axis. Change in x coordinate is displacement along x axis. Delta y and delta x. Since initial coordinate is 0, 0, delta y is y coordinate only. Alright? So that equation here will be what? R is equal to u cos theta into t. But I don't know t. Right? Along y axis, this equation, how will I write? S is what? Minus H is equal to U sin theta into T minus half GT square. So I am not solving it right now, but then this is a quality equation in T. You can solve for T here and put it there to get the value of R. Getting it? Any doubts? Alright? Now tell me one thing. How will you find the maximum height? Get the value of maximum height. Can anyone put it? It's given, no? Initial loss is you. Uh, do it now. Please attempt it. Find out the maximum height. Maximum height. Maximum height is about this distance. This is how much. What? See, you, you are free to use whatever comes in your mind. Alright? Okay, others. Get the exact value. Depending on whatever is given to us, get in terms of that. You got it. What is the condition for maximum height? Velocity along y axis should be 0 at that moment. 
right? So which equation I will use? V square equal to U square plus 2AS. This I will use along y axis. So Vy is 0, Uy is what? U square sin square theta minus 2G into into what? It's y coordinate. So y coordinate will be u square sin square theta divided by 2g. Now this is my y coordinate. But the height is what? Height is h plus of the. Got it? What happened? h plus u square sin square theta by Fine. Understood this type of project type? What? 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 So V y is 0, initial oscillum y axis is u square u sin theta, equation is minus g. Then s y What? Why did you take s as y? S is y, no? this, this distance is y. Oh, there you have to take s. Yeah, this is, I am taking as y. So we are down to Understood all of you? Any doubts? Now tell me, what if it is thrown down at an angle theta? What will be the change? What, what will be the difference now? If I throw it like this, rather than throwing up at angle theta, I am throwing it down at angle theta. Initial velocity now, y axis will be negative. That is the only change. Okay? So here, there will be minus u sin theta into t. Understood. That's the only change. And maximum height will be what? H only. H only because what? Because the velocity, initial velocity of y axis is negative. Height will decrease. The maximum height is H only. Are you getting it? All of you understood? So we have studied type 3 and 4 now. Type 4 was a throwing down. Any doubt? Clear? Is this clear? Okay? Fine.